Hello there, welcome to another Channel M music session and in session for you now, please welcome the Boxer Rebellion.
Hello there and welcome back to In Session. And with me I've got the Box of Rebellion. Guys, thanks very much for chatting to me. Much yeah, appreciated. No problem. Uh, I mean, the, I suppose the, the first thing I kind of want to ask you about is that a lot of people talk about like the music industry being like about ups and downs. But like, written through Many your times. guys' history, I mean, you're sort of like kind of almost a definition of that then, I guess, in a way then. I know you had your first album, you were, you were singing with uh, Alan McGee on, on Pop Tones and stuff like that. But as soon as it was released after it, you, you dropped within a couple of weeks or something, wasn't it? It was but that the, week. It was the week it... Was, was it that week, the actual week? Yeah. Yeah. Is that must have been a bit of a kind of a, a mixed kind of vibe for you guys. And to finally get your album out is such a massive thing for people, isn't it? And you feel like you've got your music out there. Mm. But uh, how did you kind of respond to that? Is that the kind of thing that kind of makes you stronger, or or do you feel like you miss out? Goes a long you? way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think we were quite uh, at the time. We were quite happy to be out of it, just because it we could tell uh, quite quickly that it wasn't working. Yeah. But uh, you know, we we spent few years getting part-time jobs and working and recording a second album and 
It's done all right. Because it's now becoming like more and more commonplace story that people kind of hear now with like just financially the way music is. But a lot, a lot of bands don't actually recover from it, do they at all? Or a lot of them take it as like a think, personal slate as well, bands, which is not. A lot of bands that we know, they, um, they quickly jumped into something. They didn't right. kind of take their time and kind of like assess their, their options. And they quickly jumped into something and nothing, it, didn't, it even did worse, you know, that kind of thing. So, or, or they split up. I think what we did was we all individually got back to the point where we thought nothing was going to happen and we uh, had to just carry on doing something. Yeah. And we still enjoy Do we still enjoy playing? I think we all came to the conclusion that we did. So. The upshot of it now has been that you have sort of come back from that as well, especially with... Look, we're sort of talking about how, what a weird kind of climate it is then for music now, yeah. but turning that to your advantage, looking at like iTunes charts and stuff mm. like that, you really have sort of bounced back in that way. Were you surprised by the fact that you made such an impact in that way as well? Because you've charted really well in UK and US, haven't you, yeah, when it yeah. comes to iTunes. Were you, were you kind of surprised by that? I think, suppose, yeah. But I think we were surprised, yeah. I was surprised. Mm. I mean, I think that um, we knew we were going to get a lot of exposure because we know that, I mean, since we last released an album, iTunes, and the, especially the US, is like, it's like the number one music retailer, so it's kind of like having our face over everything, and yeah. it was that was really exciting. So it was either going to absolutely bomb, or um, you know, what it, what it, was it, was it, it gave people the chance to. Well, it was just put straight in front of people, and they can make the de- decision themselves. Yeah, yeah. direct to your ears. If you direct to your ears, like it. I think, I think music's good, if your music's good enough, and it's not, and it's not in a position where you're just completely, you know, in a selling out position. Yeah. And we always kind of we just. It's the music that's kept us going. So the, I just think the tunes are a little bit more thorough than, than a lot than a lot of things. And it's, it, the music just sat there. It didn't sit on radio. Nobody played it on radio. No press. But it was just an iTunes promotion, and people were actually given the opportunity to listen to it and then go and buy it. Yeah. So I was surprised, but in a way, in retrospect, I'm not very. If that makes yeah. sense. Well, it's obviously going a lot better than now. And thanks very much for coming in. Much appreciated. And I think we'll have a little bit more now from you, if that's OK. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers, Cheers there. Yep. Well, as the boys mentioned, that album was out in January. Make sure you check that one out. In the meantime, a little bit more from the Boxer Rebellion.
time.